Hello everybody, Wild Tracker here, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2. Yes, and last time you left us with this lovely uh, turbine reactor. So, uh, and as you can see, if I look in the direction of the capacitor bank, uh, yeah, we've got lots of power. We're producing more power than we need at the moment. However, we're going to change that. We're going to start producing or using more power as we go on so uh, yeah one of the things I have started doing in between episodes if I flick this around behind boom um, yeah let's get my suit on let's get my flying suit on wanna go flying so uh, I thought I'd lay out and see how big this max size big reactor is and it's big that is big so two of our tasks or two of our challenges is one to build this thing a max size reactor uh, which as you can see is nowhere near completion because we need a load of this reactor casing um, so I've decided just reactor casing all the way around the glass at the front which I've done because obviously the glass needs even more um, of the uh, sand to make the glass, it needs two glass for every reactor casing, so it's that's a lot of sand to do everything. So uh, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, thankfully, mobs don't spawn on this, which is pretty cool. Um, but the second challenge, so once we've got all these out, this is how we're going to lay it out. We're going to do them, uh, so one away from the edge, and then it's going to be this sort of pattern going all the way along. Um, but I'm doing this one first, because I'm wondering if we can actually activate it with just this on. Um, but as you can see, I'm not even at the top yet with these um, fuel rods. Uh, the biggest challenge we've got at the moment is yellorium, because we don't have enough. It's simple as that. Um, but yeah, so that's in progress. That's, yeah, it's kind of there. Um, and that's what we're going to produce. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. Um, and if you look in here, actually, you can see our Yellorium stasis. Um, we are producing more than we're using. So that, that's a good thing at the moment. Uh, I don't know whether that's going to happen when we switch that on. Um, but certainly at the moment, we're producing more than we're using, which is good. So as, an, as we're doing it, I'm kind of pulling out, you know, leaving a stack in there, pulling this out, and that's pretty good. And also I'm converting this as well um, to plutonium, because then if I inject that into it, it turns into eulorium effectively, because you can eject that put it in, it ejects out as eulorium, yeah, so we can, we're recycling that when we can, um, but this will get me a few more reactor casings, so that's pretty good, um, let's see, where should we go, let's get it to the base, and we'll have a little talk about what we're going to do today, um, so that's uh, the reactor area, the one thing we need to sort out is this farming area, because we've got uh, all the farms bar one and one of the farms is going to go where this thing is here really so we kind of need to knock this down um, to make way for a farm so yeah it can in theory go there but it doesn't quite fit if you look at it it's got to use this bit as well as this bit um, yeah even though that's what two over it's not even if we went two over here, we'd still be too short. So yeah, to build a max size farm in there, we need to um, we need to knock this baby down, really. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do next. Um, and I think, uh, well, I'm not sure. You leave a come back, and it'll be completely gone, or we will have time lapsed it. So, um, but it should be fairly quick to take down.
and there we go we've uh, cleared that lot down really we've got uh, a little bit of fixing up there to do because I was using the um, auto uh, was it a vein miner isn't it so uh, yeah still got a bit of that to do and I've kind of covered up underneath really um, which is kind of okay um, I'll probably have to get some of that out but it was just easier to do it that way which is pretty good so um, yeah I think we're all ready here to set this farm up which probably wants to go about there no a bit further over um, so it wants to go on this line here and that line there so I guess just about there yep okay so um, that's ready for setting up the farm really we'll probably have to take this row out of here just to be lining it up properly and likewise out of there but I think you know generally we've got the farm there so I'm just gonna get that one that will be the last farm set up and I do hate these pigmen coming through so you can go away thank you so there we have it that farm is up and running um, I've just put some uh, some of these uh, mini keo crops in there again because uh, that's the one thing we really really need at the moment so uh, I've got probably about four or five farms of them growing now so we'll get plenty of essence now I'm not quite sure what to do about this building now what I am thinking is I think the whole building is going to come down not now but at some point and inside here we've kind of got our barn so what I'll probably end up doing is extending this barn along um, so we'll have a barn on the top here but everything else will go and I'll probably leave this sort of um, this here because this is one of the original features we had and I think it looks quite cool it'll be on the outside looking down in so we'll probably take everything away apart from stone probably have some ways down into it like that um, and may even glass over that bit as well just to make it secure from the uh, the mobs in the outside world I'm not sure yet so that'll have some thought on it let me know your thoughts as well if you've got an idea as to what I should do with that um, but yeah that's pretty good so what I want to do next is move on to another little thing that uh, I want to do and I just need to grab myself an ender chest and uh, chest there we go and what I will do actually just let's make ourselves some uh, reactor casings uh, reactor casing there we go whilst we've got the uh, eulorium in here because if I take this out of my inventory uh, let's just get rid of these bits as well because I do not need those anymore yeah if I if I put these back in there they end up going into the the ender chest so obviously I don't really want to be doing that if I can help it Another one there so this is the way I'm doing it basically making me react to housing casings um, and that's it we're out of Eulorium again so um, I shall put those in there for now and then they'll get added to the new big 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 reactor so uh, yeah um, something we're going to be doing a little later um, I've made this uh, information tablet which um, is really simple to make uh, tablet uh, tablet so uh, here it is here and it's basically one piece of dust surrounded by stone it doesn't have to be colored it just be normal smooth stone so draconium dust smooth stone and like that and that would make you another one which I don't really want to do but this gives you all the information about this mod which is really cool um, it tells you all about the blocks now we need to be making ourselves some armor and we need to be making ourselves some tools but the one thing that we need um, to do is and I won't go through all that because there's loads of them but what we need to do is look in here why can I see it draconian dust draconian or let's have a look see if I can see it now um, but essentially we need to make the the armor here we go dragon heart if we look at this we need to make in fact to kind of show you we need these awake awakened draconium ingots okay and the, the way you make this is essentially to drop a dragon heart on the ground and activate it with an explosion so we can use something like TV TNT drop uh, 4 to 16 draconian cores on the ground near the activator heart um, 4 per block of draconium and a few seconds after the initial activation uh, blah 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 uh, place one to four depending on you want charge draconium blocks near the heart so there's, there's there's a ritual we've got to do 
essentially. So before the end of today, we're going to do that because we've got most of what we need. We've got the Dragon Heart, just need to get some TNT and make an area for that. But before we get onto that, what I want to do is head up here and head into the nether because one of the challenges in the book, and again, I've kind of sort of thinking ahead of time, but one of the challenges is we need to turn a nether fortress into dirt. Okay, so that is a challenge. So let's head out here. Now, I can't really do this one because I've already kind of destroyed part of it, so we wouldn't be turning an entire nether fortress into dirt. What I'm going to do, just because they're a pain, I'm going to grab a potion here, some fire resist. So if we head out this way, if we actually put our map on, uh, so you can see where we are. So we've got this nether fortress here. Um, but as you may remember, if you watched some of my earlier programs, when we went out and got the um, blaze spawners, there wasn't enough here, so we ended up getting one over in that direction, uh, and also one over in this direction. So if we come this way a little bit, you can already see this never fortress here is almost joined to this one, but it's not. Okay, so it's a completely separate never fortress. And this is what we're going to end up turning into dirt because it's right near where we are. Um, it is fairly large, as you can see here. It's uh, quite a size. And what I've learned from the end as well is that using the quarries, which is what we're going to do to, to do this, um, it checks the air spaces as well. And that's a real pain because, um, to be honest, we don't want it doing that. It's quicker to actually set the quarry at multiple times I think so that's what we're going to be doing and that's why it's going to take a while so I think the first part of this leg is we're going to turn this um, area here into um, a quarry so I'm going to sup some of this potion because these blazes are going to be a pain in the backside we will get rid of the wither because that's the last thing we want is one of these guys annoying us there was a bat there, was there? Ah, oh, they're so annoying, these guys, because they... There you go, you're gone, and you can go as well. Okay, so we might get a few more withers coming along, but that's perfectly okay. So what I'm going to do is set up, and we've got some angel blocks, so we can do that. And I'm just going to use these blocks here, because they're kind of nice. Um, so we don't really need to worry about the angel blocks on this case. So what we need is... Let's pull these out here, give ourselves a platform that's outside of the area. And that should be fine. And what we're going to do is set up our boundaries. So we need this guy going there, I guess, because it's going to go all the way down there and all the way down there. And I've got a feeling they're not touched. It's what's inside that's going to be touched. Uh, there's nothing higher than this, so we don't need to go up at all at the moment and we then need a quarry so let's put a quarry down here I guess I guess that kind of does it um, unable to take fence boundary that's fine so what we need is those guys back again because the next boundary is going to be just here we don't want to make it any bigger than it needs to be. So that's going to go along there. It's going to go along there. And all we need is to worry about where we're going to put this other one along this way. So um, here with us. So if we kind of do it to the end of here. I know we've got that one over there, but we can do that separately. So if we stick this... Um, yeah, it kind of wants to be the other way. Right, come on, guys. Leave me alone. Give me some respect. We are take your heads. Um, so we don't want it going there, really. We don't have a block. So let's just use some obsidian. Didn't bring enough blocks, as always. Right, okay. One of those there. One of those there. That's connected. So let's leave it be. Be interesting to know what the mobs do. I'm presuming the mobs will still spawn on this once it's uh, once it's done. Let's see how this is going now. So what we need now is a bit of um, bit of power. So let's stick a tesseract there. 
and let's get the turbine power bank that's correct good so that's all working so this thing should be powered and it is seven blocks scanned so far um, now I presume we can add a speed upgrade to this which is going to drain more power but does that work is that going faster seven blocks scanned is that the way right way round I presume that was the right way around let's uh, The arrows are facing all funny ways, aren't they? Hmm, don't know, still seven blocks scanned. So that's going that way, that's going that way. Oh, that is turned, but it's going very slowly, isn't it? See if there's a better way of connecting that. So if that's going that way, a lot of guys over there. Let's put a little bit more obsidian down. Give myself a platform there. Watch these guys come and take me out. Let's try that way. Is that still the same? Uh, it's still all the same. It doesn't matter which way around we're doing it. It seems to be like that. Um, right, what we do need is a chest. So let's stick a chest down there. Oh, there we go. Much better. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to take too long really, is it? So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, turn this into dirt lovely flowery <laughs> it actually looks quite good doesn't it so uh yeah we're gonna let that do its wonders and we'll just keep coming back here periodically and um changing it although that seems to be very very quick so we might have to do things quicker than that but uh this is going to fill up very very quick as well so that's why i brought this i just wanted to make sure really it was uh going in so we'll uh put a item duct we need uh, in fact we might as well know that night and duct is should we do it that way yeah we'll do an night and duct and then that way we don't have to worry about it oops so if we do that there and then use the end of the chest on the end hopefully that'll start emptying once we've got this sorted out you're burning my thing up it's not very nice of you is it right extract and insert perfect so that's getting all that as well um that was a few other things it was getting oh he's getting a bit of cloud some never rack excellent okay i'm going to see you guys later on and we'll come back and uh, swap that over and uh, let's head back and see if we can do this um where's my places over here see if we can get this ritual done and as i thought uh we're using more power than we've actually uh, making at the moment so uh but that's not too bad we've got yeah we've got a lot of power stored up so uh, we're just going to let that run um, because then we'll, 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 we'll fill this up again but we've already gone back to the nether and uh, replaced um, the quarry somewhere else because it had already finished and when it finishes this just builds up again but the quarry's taken about 16,000 uh, RF per tick so um, yeah we kind of really need another one of these um which is 24,000 uh, to actually cope with a, another quarry on that kind of speed but for now i'm not going to worry about it but we may look at uh, generating some other worlds and other quarries uh, and if that's the case we may build another one of these on the other side of here or we could stack it on top of it but for now at least until we get that thing working um that's fine it'll carry on using that power it's going to take quite a while to use that up and i suspect it will finish doing the um uh, the the sort of quarrying in the nether before we run out of that power so i'm absolutely fine with that now what we need to do is set up an area where we can be doing this um this what, what do we call it it was a uh, activation so I think what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and maybe we'll just build it the other side of here because we've got this one here which we used for um, a ritual. Let's build it here and what I'm going to do is actually build it out of obsidian. I know it's close to that. Maybe we'll build it at the end. Let's build it over here then. Um, 
So, how much do we need? We probably only need it to be about 10 wide, something like that, maybe 16. So we've got 1, 2, 3, and I can't see. Uh, let's do it that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we did it this way, yeah, yeah I think 10 is going to be fine. So um, all I want to do is literally have a safe area that can be used for an explosion. Um, and how many wide have we got this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're out of obsidian. So let me get this um, area set up again. We've got plenty of obsidian, so we shouldn't run out. Um, and then we can uh, get the bits and pieces together we need. And then hopefully from that, and let's just, in fact, let's not do it that way. We'll build out one more and then we'll build it up. Um, so we'll build it this way, all the way around, there we go. Right, let me get this finished and then we'll go and get the bits and pieces we need to get together and then we'll give this a bit of a go. Right, we're going to use some TNT for this, so uh, that's simple enough to make and I think I'll get two pieces, just to be sure we've got some redstone and a lever to activate it. Um, now, the recipe says that we actually need um, between 4 and 16 of these. I believe it's going to be 4 per block. Um, but what it also says in here is you can only use this ritual once per heart to make the most of it. In other words, you might as well max out as you can. So, uh, draconian blocks. Now, what it needs is one of these, a charged draconian block. That's what it says, but um, doesn't actually say I presume we just make draconian blocks so let's make four of these because that's the maximum we can do with this uh, ritual and let's see can we put them not in there but if we put them in there will they charge will they do anything they are okay cool um, what we'll probably do is head down the bottom then and use the power station um, because that's going to be a lot more power in there and we can do all four at the same time there we go nice okay so um yeah let's get those charged up and then we'll head at the top and do this thing so there we have it four charged draconian blocks so let's head up over here as the sun sets we're going to do this in the dark uh hopefully we get nothing spawning and here we go so the idea is we turn the magnet off i guess uh, otherwise this is going to pick up so we kind of throw that down there we explode it and once it exploded we place those on the floor and we should be good to go so let's see does this work oh it does so uh, one two three four oh lovely magic particle effects going Let's just hope it sucks those in and converts them for us. Get him faster because otherwise we've got to go and kill another dragon, I guess. Why are you not working? Does it need to be loose? Are those gone? What's happening? It's not working. Oh, uh, you know what I did. Uh, right. Um, yeah. Well, I've got my heart back. And we've got one of those. Oh, we've got two hearts. Okay, it made two hearts, that's fine. Yeah, I should have put these down first. Uh, that's where I went wrong. Right, so we need to go make some more. Um, it's a good job we got some of this, isn't it? Where's the base? There's the base. So we need to make some more draconian blocks. We need to charge them up and do it again. Right, let's try this again, shall we? So, uh, dragon heart on the ground. Activate. That was not blown up. Hopefully it still does it anyway. 
There we go, it does. Right, throw these on the ground. There we go. They're all in there. And then one, two, three, four. Does this now do it? I sincerely hope so. It's a different colour from before, that's for sure. So hopefully that's... Yeah, it looks like the animation is drawing things into it. Ha ha! Fantastic! Awakened Draconium blocks. Woohoo! And you don't get the dragon heart back from that. So, uh, but that's interesting. That if we if we take a dragon heart and give an explosion and do nothing, we get a spare dragon heart. So, um, I don't know if that's meant to happen or not, but it's certainly a cool feature. So. Uh, Brilliant. So I think we've uh, just about reached the uh, the end of what we need to do there. We're going to be using these in the next episode to do a little bit of crafting and get one of those achievements on the thing there. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please click on like as always. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time here on Sky Factory 2. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye-bye.